In this video we'll briefly discuss what is prednisolone and how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, and contraindications and precautions. Prednisolone belongs to a class of medications called corticosteroids. It depresses formation, release and activity of endogenous mediators of inflammation, including prostaglandins, kinins, histamine, liposomal enzymes and complement system. It also modifies body's immune response. So it is used in the treatment of chronic diseases including inflammatory, allergic, hematologic, neoplastic, autoimmune disorders, and adrenal insufficiency. It is available as tablets, and orally disintegrating tablets, oral solution, injection, and eye drops. Dosages of corticosteroids are variable. These should be individualized according to the disease being treated and the response of the patient. The usual dose of oral prednisolone for adults is 5 to 60 mg per day, in a single dose or divided doses. And the usual dose of intramuscular and intravenous prednisolone is 4 to 60 mg per day. And the usual dose of prednisolone eye drops is 1 to 2 drops, into the conjunctival tibal sac of the affected eye, 2 to 4 times a day. During the initial 24 to 48 hours, dosing frequency may be increased if necessary. Dose and duration related side effects of prednisone include fluid and electrolyte disturbances with possible edema and hypertension, hyperglycemia, osteoporosis, bone fractures, myopathy, menstrual irregularities, behavioral disturbances, poor wound healing, ocular cataracts, glaucoma, arrest of growth in children, hirsutism, thromboembolism, peptic ulceration, and Cushing like syndrome. Take single daily doses or alternate day doses in the morning before 9 a.m. and take multiple doses at evenly spaced intervals throughout the day. Take medication with meals or snack to avoid gastrointestinal irritation. Do not discontinue prednisolone suddenly to avoid withdrawal syndrome. Avoid people with known viral infections and inform your physician if exposure occurs. Receive vaccinations, particularly live attenuated viruses, only with permission from your treating physician. Diabetic patients should monitor their blood glucose closely. Patients should carry medical identification card at all times, describing the medication being taken. That's all for this video, subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one.